Welcome to Water Wisdom, sponsored by waterfilters.net. I'm your guest host, Carl, and with me today is Bob Roney from Zero Water. Hey, Welcome, Carl. Bob. Thank you. Thanks for being with us today. Great. Glad to be here. And the filter life, can you say something about how that works in terms of how long you can expect a filter to last? That's the number one question that people ask about um, how long will my filter last, and it all is dependent upon the TDS reading that you start with. So if you think about it, if you're in an area that has high TDS, three, four hundred, um, you're going to have to the filter has to work that much harder to take all the dissolved solids out of the water. So it's logical to assume that it's not going to last as long in those areas as it would last into an area where the reading is under 100. But what we do is we provide you with this um, chart in every device, and it basically says from different TDS readings how many gallons you should expect from the filter. But one of the things, the reason we give you the filter is one, we let you know how good or how bad your water is to start. But more importantly, you now have an exact reading as to when to replace your filter. And all our literature on all our boxes and everything, we actually tell you to replace it when it gets to 006. Because what happens is when it gets to 006, all those ion exchange resins that are in the filter, they're used up. And that will, it will go from 006 much higher very, very quickly. Okay. So essentially, when people first install a filter, they should be getting that 000 reading on their TDS meter. Correct. And then when it gets to the 006, it's time for a new filter. Time for a new filter. Okay. And that will just largely depend on the water quality in, in your area. Right. Right. And then I understand you have a, a unique program for recycling the filters, and for those who have an environmental consciousness, that's a really great opportunity. Yeah, if um, uh, the consumer will return the filter to us, um, postage paid, um, we will uh, recycle the plastics and regenerate the resins. And in turn, for paying for the postage, we will send them $10 worth of coupons uh, off their next purchase of filters. Great. So there's some savings built in then for them, as well as just the knowledge that they're helping to preserve, preserve the resources. Right. Exactly. Great. Yeah. And then my favorite part of, of what you have to offer is this great demonstration that you can do, uh, illustrating what Zero Water is all about. So let's yes, take a look. If you could hand me that uh, blue bottle, please. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, water that I just took out of the tap. Um, here in the office, and if you could read that to me. Yeah, I don't think it's quite in the water there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it looks like it's reading about 245 parts per million. 245 parts per million. Just, just as a benchmark, the national average for TDS in drinking water is somewhere between 180 to 200. So this is a little above, a little above but, but not much. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do and we're going to put that through our filter. And as it's going through, Maybe that other one, just swap it because enough of it has gone through that we can measure. And you can see it turned to zero. I see that. That's so, impressive. So right? we took uh, 245 uh, to zero, which um, simply in a matter of pouring it through a, a pitcher filter. Correct. So now let me put that zero back under here. I'm going to take this glass, and I'm going to add some red wine. Red wine has a lot of sediment and fermentation, that's alcohol, and we'll measure that. And that gets to 561. So that's well, well, well. Uh, yeah. One of, the, one of the things about doing the, the red wine, aside from um, it has high TDS content, um, red wine has dissolved solids that you can see, so it's very visual. Uh, tap water, when you take it out, like we did, we took 245 and turned it to zero, it has uh, dissolved solids you can taste but not see. So this is a pretty visual demonstration of the power of the technology. Yeah. And the 
the first thing you'll notice is all the colors coming out of it. Um, so all the red and sediment, and fermentation, and the alcohol is coming out. This is great. This is my favorite part. <laughs> and actually, here's some sort of glass. We can put that much under it. You certainly have enough to. And there you go. Zero, zero, zero. Back to zero. So it took everything out. And then my favorite part is just to sample the water. You shouldn't be able to taste any alcohol. Not at all. <laughs> thank you, Bob. Carl, thank you very much. You're welcome. You've been watching Water Wisdom, sponsored by waterfilters.net. I'm your guest host, Carl. Thanks for watching.